Hi, what I'd like to do for this is to try and um, UV map the bottle here. I've got a little mustard bottle and um, take it into Photoshop, color it so it looks in the end something like this. These are actually two objects. I'll talk a bit about having um, the UVs for two objects in the same UV map as well. So let's take a look at how we might do this. First of all, what we need to do is mark our seams on this object. So I'm going to go into edit mode here and make sure I'm in edge mode. And I'm also going to turn off the subdivision modifier for just a minute here. And I'm going to begin marking seams. And I'm going to do it very simply. I'm just going to hold Alt and right click and shift and select these edges as well as these up top here and I'm gonna select some edges down here on the bottom as well so I'm gonna break this up into multiple shells just to make it easier to follow so I've got my seams marked I'm now going to go to control E, mark seam, and now that creates all the seams. Now I can go to face mode, hit A to select all, U to unwrap and click unwrap. Now you can of course um, um, edit this a bit. In fact, what let's do, let's go ahead and just talk about that real quick. Let me just take this down to here for now. Um, if you go down here, you've got these um, UV selection modes. I'm going to choose uh, shell, uh, UV selection, I guess what's it called down here? Island. They call them islands, excuse me. And I'm going to click and press G and just move these around a bit. I'm going to move them outside of my UV shell or my 0 to 1 space for a minute and I just want to figure out how I want to lay these out I'm going to turn on this little guy right here keep UV and edit mode mesh in sync so that when I go to face mode over here and choose a face I can see which one it is over here so this looks like it's the front so okay that's gonna be my front I'll select this one with border select and move it oops didn't want to do that let's deselect that now let's move that and this is gonna be the front this is gonna be where the label is I want to select these now and I'm gonna let's see which one this one is this one is this one on this side that's that side of the bottle so I'm gonna bring it over here and I think this one needs to go on the other side and I'm just using the normal uh, B for border select G for move, just like in the in the 3D viewport. And I'm just rearranging these so I have a sense of what they are when I take them into Photoshop. All right, so there is the beginnings of my UV map for the bottle. There we go. Now I need to work on the UV map for the cap. I'm going to go back into object mode, select the cap. I'm going to take the subdivision modifier off of that one. And let's go through the process of um, selecting the seams for this as, as well. I'm going to just move this guy to a new layer. There we go. 
Edge. Edge. Mm, no, I think I want this one here. And one on the very bottom. Uh, what I would also like to do is create one seam back here. Like this. And then I'm going to deselect these here. All right. And that needs to be a seam. Now, let's go to face mode, select all, U to un uh, unwrap. All right, I'm going to scale this down and move it to one side. Now, to get all of these on the same UV map, what I need to do is combine these two objects because here is the UV map for the bottle and here is the UV map for the cap. I want them all on the same UV shell. So I'm going to select both the bottle and the cap and then I'm going to press Control J and that puts them all into one object. So now when I select and I go to edit mode they're all on the same map. Now I'm actually going to select this and scale it up just a hair and make sure it's in that zero to one space. So now I've got a nice UV map of the bottle. I'm going to export it out to Photoshop and um, color it there. I'm going to select, hit A to select the whole map and then go to UVs, export UV layout and I'll call it bottle UVs and there it goes. So now let's go back to Photoshop. Let's go open up bottle UVs and there we have it. So now we can see that we've got the UVs laid out for us here. Um, the first thing let's do is create a new layer. I'm going to label this one UVs and I'm going to change the UVs to something like multiply so that when I create, um, put some color down here, let's put some color down here, let's make it, oh, let's make it yellow since it's mustard. There we go. So there is the yellow for the bottle. Okay, so there is the color. And now let's bring in the label. So for the label, I'm just going to copy this and paste it and size it to fit on the front of the bottle here. Something like that. All right, so there is our color map. Let's export it out. I'll export it as a PNG. Now let's go back to Blender. So let's go ahead and create a new material here. We'll call it Bottle. And probably the best way to do this is to do this in the Node Editor. So I'm going to switch this viewport that was the UV Image Editor. I'm going to switch it to the Node Editor and take a look at what we have here. What we need to do is map our image into the color of the diffuse. So let's add an image texture and bring that image texture in through here. And so now, if we connect our image texture up to the, the diffuse material, we can now see it in the render. Let's go ahead and smooth this again. Now, if you wanted um, two objects, if you wanted these two pieces to be two objects and still wanted to be able to have them on the same UV map, like maybe for uh, a video game or something like that, you certainly could do that. 
you can select everything. And let's go to face mode, select everything with the A key, and then press P and split or separate these up by loose parts. And now what you've got is two objects. One for, let me, one for the bottle and one for the cap, but they're still all on one UV map. The last thing we should do, I guess, is add a checkerboard uh, texture to um, our floor here. I'm going to once again go back to the node editor and let's just bring a, a checker texture into the color channel there. And we can also increase the scale so they're a little smaller. So now we've got our, our bottle with the UV map and rendered out. So anyway, I hope that's helped for Blender UV mapping. Thanks.